Today, we started this presentation by acknowledging that there are certain challenges that students face in learning about rigid body dynamics. And one of those challenges was about the scale of hand computations that are often involved. And we made the distinction between the two types of difficulty in solving problems. You might recall they were the conceptual difficulty and also the computational difficulty. And it was the computational difficulty that we can help reduce through the application of computational thinking. By using computational thinking, we let the students spend more time thinking about the problem, thinking about how to apply the underlying physics, and less time doing tedious computations. And today we saw some of the ways that MATLAB supports computational thinking. We looked at the live editor, which allows you to capture not just the solution to a problem, but it also captures the thought processes, the rationale behind the approaches taken. We looked at some of the tedium busters, those capabilities in MATLAB that reduce the amount of hand computations. Things like computing the derivatives of, of expressions, things like the automatic conversion of symbolic expressions into simulink blocks. And finally, we looked at how the derived equations of motion could be used within a numeric simulation, that the simulation was one way of making the mathematics come alive and using the mathematics to do some useful design activity. 